Hi, I'm Mitzi. If you're like me, you want to work in computers, but how do you tell the difference between all the different courses? Like information technology, information systems, computer science and games technology. How do you tell what they're all about and which one's right for you? Let's go have a look. So you might have studied IT at school, maybe done some programming languages or designed a website, but we want to know what's different about IT at uni. Well, IT at La Trobe deals with the use of computing technology to manage information. Information is vital for businesses today, and technologies can cover areas such as mobile phones, smart fridges, automobiles, space communication. In fact, NASA depends on this technology to keep people alive. So can you give us an example of the things you might learn in an IT degree? Well, there's a lot of subjects available. However, the real strength of the IT degree is that students can customise their subjects to uh, focus on areas that really interest them. Given the importance of information in a business sense, uh, a student may wish to choose business related subjects as well. We can look at a real world example of an IT problem solving exercise. So I'll give you a deck of cards and the cards are unsorted. Yep. Imagine each card represented a user on Facebook and we wish to find one, the Ace of Spades. Now, if you were to search through that pile of cards for the Ace of Spades, it could be the very first card you look at, or it could be the last card in the deck. But on average, it'd be about halfway through the deck. But there are other ways to find cards in a deck. We could look at having a sorted deck of cards. Mm -hmm. So if I asked you to find the Ace of Spades in a sorted deck, it would be easier. But what if we split the deck into four parts, one part per suit? If I asked you to find the Ace of Spades then, it's almost a trivial matter. <laughs> Or we could give 52 people one card and ask the person holding the Ace of Spades to hold it up. Even easier. So these are the kinds of problems that IT graduates will be expected to solve. So what kind of jobs could I get? IT is everywhere and it's pretty hard to imagine a business today without IT. But some companies are focused on IT, so you could look at software development, web development and so forth. But more and more we find IT supporting other industries such as mining, manufacturing, commerce, even cabinet making. In fact, the more enterprising IT graduates may even start their own business. Okay, great. So, how's that different from information systems? Well, I think you'd probably speak to the guy down the hallway.